What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and Merry Christmas. Santa came late, and <laughs> there's snow everywhere. It is a beautiful winter wonderland out here, and instead of freezing our tails off in the cold, we're gonna warm up with some hot sauce. Yo, um, so we in here now, it's hot sauce time. We got some chicken kitten. Let's do this. Let's start with what's the first sauce. Pick a sauce for me. The level up extreme danger temperature. Danger. <laughs> All right, let's put that. Oh, give me more than that. I need to feel it. These are whole bottles. They don't, this isn't gonna kill me as much as that chip did, I, I hope. All right, so we'll do the dip. Uh, the first one on this thing is from Roland. OMG, you think you can handle all that spicy? Well, this is the first one. And I don't think I got enough spice. This was actually pretty manageable. I was, I was pretty happy with that one. So I think I can handle all that, yeah. I'm gonna grab another one of that because that's pretty good. Oh, that's some pretty good sauce. Ooh, that one's, that one's tickling me more than I, yeah. The next one. System Overload, uh, extra hot sauce from Cronus Husky. Okay, favorite EDM artist. Jeez. Okay, I have a couple answers to that question. Whew. My favorite EDM artist as far as shows to go to, Porter Robinson, hands down. I love his energy. I love what he puts out. I love just, I've always cried listening to Porter Robinson. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. God, I love Porter Robinson. Ooh. This kicks me in the mouth. I will say though, Excision puts on a mean festival. Oh, that tickles my taste buds. The next hot sauce is the Level Up High Voltage Habanero Sauce. There we go, baby. The next question is from Slushy Wolf. Who are your fursuit crushes and why? This one's a bit better. I'm not dying from that one. Oh, but it takes a minute. Um... Gosh, it's so hard to say because I don't remember anyone's name. Um, probably, here, I'll give you the honest answer. Myself. I was at Anthro Northwest and I had a big mirror in my hotel room. Me and some friends, we were, we were partying it up, having a good time. And all of a sudden they go off and go to some party and I am absolutely vibing in the mirror. Just looking at my fursuit, being able to control it. I don't know if that means I'm my own fursuit crush, but it was so cool watching me dance. Um, alternatively, Fluke is a big crush of mine because, oh boy, is he goals. Uh, God, Fluke has the everything I need in my life, and uh, whew, I'm sweating mostly because of Fluke, because this hot sauce wasn't too bad. The next sauce is the Level Up Game Over Garlic. Oh, that one comes out like good. Oh my God, you're Dunkaroo in this one. Try to get as much as I can. I'm, like trying to dip freaking chicken and water. The next question is from Cosmo. What's the coolest breed of dog in your opinion? This one's not even hot. This one slaps. This one's good. Um, coolest breed of dog, huskies. I love huskies. Um, coyotes don't actually count as a breed of dog, otherwise they'd win. I want a husky so bad. I want an animal that like will 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 like i want like a personal trainer except i want them to be a dog 
and that's a husky because they want to go outside they want to do crap they want to like have fun be a dog go and just exciting they're exciting um close second would probably be german shepherd i think they're cool dogs and i love i love any dog that it's more dog than weird uh conglomerate of animal and i have i love huskies huskies are the best The next sauce is Attack Mode Mango Habanero. Oh, there we go. That's what I like to see. Just absolutely cover it. The next question is from Lone Wolf Official. What's your favorite horror movie? I have not seen a lot of horror movies. But I will tell you that the scaredest I've ever been because of a horror movie would be Chucky. Now, I never watched Chucky, but I was about six years old watching the previews for some movie in the early 2000s. And they had the preview for Chucky. I believe it was and, Seed of Chucky. And all it was was a black screen and then a heartbeat. And then a baby. But it was like the silhouette of a baby. And then the baby turns its head. And stares directly at me. Smiles. Laughs. And seen. I had nightmares for years. Every single night. I would check the underside of my bed for Chucky. I don't like scary movies because they work. And boy, that left me with some lasting damage. Dolls are the worst ever. And babies are just as bad. So. I wouldn't say it's the best scary movie in the world, but it scared me, and I just watched the trailer. A lot of these have been really mild. I'm not yeah. happy to experience them. <laughs> yeah, the next one is Level Up Boss Battle Chipotle. And the last question is from uh, me. Drunkest thing you ever did, ever. Not like the drunkest you've ever been, but the drunkest thing you've been. It could go either way. So they're both actually the same story because I haven't, I guess I don't remember doing anything super crazy except for one time. Whew. These were, this was during a time of my life where I was staying from hotel to hotel, taking on jobs in various cities. And I had actually a team of people with me. Oh. And what we were doing was outside in the parking lot, um, we managed, one of my coworkers got like this big thing of vodka and a big thing of juice. And we just kept making vodka and that juice in cups and handing it around to each other. But we had a lot, so he never told me no. And I just kept grabbing drink after drink after drink after drink, just chilling, getting a lot of drinks. And eventually, I stopped talking. And I realized I can't see straight anymore. Like, you know how, like, you can feel things spinning when you're a little drunk or a little dizzy? I was so effed up, the world would, like, turn upside down. And I can't, couldn't stand anymore. I, like, fell to the ground and just sat against the car tires. And everyone's like, oh my god, are you okay? Are you okay? And I'm like, no, man, no. I'm like, I'm like, really drunk, man. And... As soon as I get that out of my mouth, I throw up directly on someone's truck tires. Now this was some big lifted truck. The kind of guy, the kind of the kind of truck owned by the kind of guy 
who, if they saw some gay furry throw up on their truck, they probably would shoot me. And so that happens, and I start freaking out. And they're like, no, it's okay, it's okay. People understand, and you, people get drunk. That was rude, but people get drunk. And, and so they're like, they're trying to console me, and I, I'm like, okay, 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 what do I do? I need, to, I need to go to my room, I need to get out of here, I can't be here anymore. And they're like, okay, we'll help you, we'll help you. And they like try to help me get up, and I'm like, no, I'm too drunk, I can't move. If I move, I'll die. And at some point, I'm like spinning, and they're like, dude, you gotta get up, you gotta get up. And I'm like, no, 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 I can't move if or I'll die. And then something in me went off. All of a sudden, I'm like, I can move. I won't die if I move. And I stand up and I book it. Just sprint directly to my hotel room, dive into my room, slam the door, and just completely start throwing up. And I don't remember much else after that. Except I fell asleep and had work the next day. And when I woke up, the first thing I did was drink half a gallon of milk. And then we go, we pile up in the van, drive out to our location, get to the parking lot. I'm like, oh God, I'm about to be sick again. I'm about to be sick again. I get out of the car and I bust through the back. There, I, I couldn't even wait for the side doors to open. I literally escape through the back doors of this man, van and I just start throwing up in bushes for like 10 minutes. And then I worked that day because I didn't have a choice. Yay! So, I don't recommend drinking that much. I don't even remember it, and it was all bad. So, yeah. Drunkest I've ever been. These spices weren't bad. Um, I handled these pretty well. Um, I want, I want a, I want a bigger challenge. I, I think these were fun. We're just gonna eat hot sauce and popcorn chicken now. But I, I think, I think we should do one last sauce. Oh, oop, yeah. yeah. Oh, you're gonna simmer it, yeah. All right, go for it. The last question from Soda Crow is, what's an instrument you'd like to try? <laughs> oof. This one definitely has a bit of a di This one's a kicking. Okay. Love the question. An instrument I'd like to try would probably be a toss-up between a few things. Um, but I'm going to say something called the Taisho Koto, or the Nagoya Harp. It's a Japanese electric koto. And it has... It's, it's, it's played... On the table, you have a little pick side, and then you have keys in it that you can actually press down and fret, I guess, the notes of each string to make to make sound. And as you play the string, you can fret it, and you can you can it plays kind of like a piano or like a keyboard or a typewriter. <coughs> Just inhaled hot sauce. Wow, that hurts. Um, Andrew Huang has a video about it, and it's an absolutely beautiful instrument, but there was only ever one company who made it, like, 20 years ago. So they're really hard to find, and the ones that you can find are fairly expensive. So, maybe it'll show up on the channel someday, I really, really hope it will, but for now, that is definitely the one instrument I hope to just find out in the world because it is such a pretty, it sounds so unique. It's such a cool instrument, such a cool instrument. You don't want any of this. Anyway, uh, that's the video. I, I am at a friend's house post Christmas. We just watched Spider-Man. It slaps, definitely watch it. Um, and yeah, last video of 2021. Uh, I hope you guys have an awesome freaking rest of the year, and uh, until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye!